Hello and welcome to this Dot2 tutorial series. In this series I'll be taking you through the basics of this desk all the way up to the complexity of this desk. Let's get to it. In this video I'll be talking about the basics of how to start a show. Let's get to it. So when you first start a new show, these are the two screens you'll see. To get started, hit Setup, Patch and Fixture Schedule, then hit Add New Fixtures. Hit Select Other, and now type in the name of your fixture, and select the mode. Hit OK once you've finished that. Now you have quantity controls for how many fixtures you have in your rig and the ID number. Also, you can control what name is displayed. You can also change the patch. On the dot two, patching is shown as universe point channel. Once you've finished, hit the OK button. If you do require to alter your patch afterwards, simply tap on patch type in your new value and hit please. After that, hit OK and apply all changes. Now to control your fixture, select it on the touch screen. Use the scroll wheel to bring it up. Now, down the side you will see attribution controls. Tap on position to control pan and tilt have two soft faders on the screen to show you the pan and tilt values. You can also center them with the buttons provided. Another way of controlling pan and tilt are the encoders. To control color, use the soft keys on the right hand side of the touch screen. You are now on the picker view. This view allows for total control of any colour that you could desire. You also have Fader View. Fader View gives you hue, saturation and brightness, or cyan, magenta and yellow, or red, green and blue controls over your fixtures. You also have Swatchbook View. This lets you match the colour of your intelligent fixtures with any generic fixtures you might have with gels in them. You also have RAW. RAW allows you to control simply the red, green and blue values and any colour wheels that you have within your fixture. To save this look, hit the store button and then the button below the fader you wish to save it in. You could also save it in a button. If at any time you make a mistake, hit the oops button and OK on the touch screen. Well that's it for my first video on the Grand MA.2. Please leave a like if you enjoyed it and subscribe to see more content. Bye.